How many decisions are you making right now that can impact your tomorrow? Why are you doing the things that you're not really excited about that drains you? Passion doesn't pay the bills. Purpose pays the bills. Purpose builds profit and wealth. I need you to spend time on things that gets you excited, that fuels your business, that makes you better on your job. We don't give life. Welcome to the table. What's going on fam? Welcome back to the table. And today I'm really excited because we're gonna be diving into a topic that I really haven't really talked about, but I was sitting back thinking like, yo, I should really teach this. You know, we're gonna be talking about how do we build wealth through simple, actionable steps, whether that's, you know, striving for financial freedom, looking to boost your income, or aiming to make smarter financial decisions. Today, you're in the right place because we're gonna be exploring the five easy habits that make me honestly more money. Like, I mean, it's like these habits have made me more money and, and watch this, allowed me to get back more time to make more money. So I need you to be dialed in. But before we get to these five easy habits, don't forget, you guys, we're celebrating Financial Literacy Month the entire month of April. And we have something truly special for you. I'm not just here to talk about financial freedom. I'm here to help you experience it firsthand, especially this month. I want you to picture this. Picture this. Two lucky couples jetting off on a $5,000 dream vacation, going to Bali, going to Dubai, going to the beach, going to Greece, going to wherever you want to go, creating memories that will last a lifetime. But wait, there's more. For full details on how you can win one of these incredible prizes, I want you to check out this quick commercial. Fam, I got a question. Are you ready for an April like no other? Well, I want you to get pumped because we're about to make it rain with our April is lit $20,000 giveaway powered by my friends at SmartWiz. I want you to imagine this. Come here, come here, come closer. You and your ride or die are on a $5,000 vacation of your wildest dreams or kickstart your financial future with $1,000 towards an IRA or an investment account. That's pretty sweet, right? But hold on to your seats, baby, because it's about to get even better. I want you to join us for April is Lit Financial Literacy Month, where education meets opportunity. I want you to amp up your financial know-how, treat yourself to a well-deserved breather, and master the art of smart money management. Here's how you can get involved with all this excitement. It's simple. Go to anthonyoneal.com to register for 100% free. And you got to subscribe to the YouTube and Apple podcast channels to qualify for the chance to snag one of these incredible prizes. This is $20,000. So don't let this opportunity slip through your fingers. Take charge of your, of your financial destiny and stand a chance to win big. Join us for the April is lit and let's make this month a month that we cannot forget. Visit anthonyoneal.com right now to register and check out today's show notes for the link. All right, let's get to today's show. So listen, go to anthonyoneal.com, register for this awesome experience this month. I'm telling you right now, you know, uh, $5,000 uh, vacation, $1,000 going into your IRA. This is, this, this is amazing. I, I don't, this is amazing. And we may have something extra. I, I may have a surprise for you. But let's get into these five, five habits. Here's number one. You got to eliminate some decision making. Eliminate some decision making. You see, reducing decision making helps with decision fatigue by simply, how, how do I put this? By simplifying your daily choices and routines, right? Establishing habits and routines and systems can help streamline your decision making process, allowing you to conserve mental energy for more critical tasks. This could involve meal planning to eliminate daily food decisions. Prime example, I meal plan on Sundays. And so uh, when if I'm cooking, I'll cook meals for the entire week. If I have my, my meal plan lady cooking, she'll cook meals for the entire week. So when I come home 
on Tuesday, I just I know what I'm eating on Tuesday. I've already eliminated the process of having to think. Creating a standard wardrobe to minimize clothing choices. I have friends who do shows like me, right? And they only wear one color. And they have like, my friends are minimalists. They only wear black. They got five different t-shirts. That's it. They just wear different t-shirts throughout the day because they want to eliminate, watch this, the decision making because it's like it allows them to focus on other things or using product productivity tools to automate repetitive tasks. You see, by minimizing decision fatigue, you can enhance focus and productivity. Productivity ultimately contributing to your financial success. I really want you to step back and think about it. If you're making all these decisions on things that you can eliminate, that you can just put in automation, by the time you get to the things that are super important, you're at fatigue. You don't want to make the right decision because you're tired of making decisions. So when I started putting things in automation, when I started saying, you know what, I'm going to do the meal plans, when I started just saying, you know what, I'm going to put this over here, this over there, so I don't have to think about it all the time. When I started just giving assignments away to my team and letting them make the decision, it allowed me to make better decisions on things that are more important. You see, according to a study published in a journal of consumer research, shoppers who face fewer choices were more likely to make an actual purchase. Simplifying your choices and routines can lead to more decisive actions, which can be beneficial in both personal and professional decision-making contexts. This came from when the choice is right. So listen, How many decisions are you making? How many decisions are you making right now that can impact your tomorrow? Let me put it like this. How many decisions are you leaving your family to make? because you're not willing to invest into the proper amount of life insurance. You're not willing to spend a week to sit down with an attorney and to come up with a full estate plan that has a will and that has you know, um, a trust inside of it. So that way you can tell your family, hey, here's the money and here what's to do. And the only thing they have to worry about is you. What, what, what is that? But what is that? This is why I partner my friends over at Ethos. Because if we can make one decision, a, a, a decision that needs to be made and get a life insurance policy, a million dollars, two million dollar life insurance policy, partner with a full estate plan, that positions us to eliminate some decision-making from our loved ones to where they only have to focus on us and missing us and celebrating the life that we left behind. So I want you to check out this quick commercial about my friends over at Ethos. Recently, I've completed my full estate plan and it's been an emotional journey if I'm gonna be honest with you. But now I have a peace of mind knowing that my family and loved ones are well taken care of. But here's something you may not know that I think you need to know. According to a recent study, nearly 60% of African-American adults have life insurance. Now, wait a minute. Many of these policies may not provide sufficient coverage to fully protect their families in case of unexpected deaths. This lack of adequate coverage is a pressing issue among the black community. It can lead to financial difficulties and potentially hinder the building of generational wealth. In today's time, it's more important than ever for African Americans to give priority to life insurance and estate planning. You see, by doing so, you can ensure that your loved ones are secure in the event of your passing. This covers funeral and burial costs, clears all debts and mortgages, and provides a financial cushion to help them continue building wealth. 
long-lasting wealth. Don't leave your family's financial future to chance. I want you to secure life insurance today. I want you to get a free life insurance quote through my friends at Ethos. All you gotta do is go to anthonyoneal.com forward slash life insurance. Again, that is anthonyoneal.com forward slash life insurance for your free quote or click the link in today's show notes. Protect your family's future and attain a peace of mind. Act right now and let's get back to today's show. So listen, I want you to go to anthonyoneal.com forward slash life insurance. It will take you five minutes. I promise you five minutes to get a quote today. And if you like the quote, you can be covered today. And if you get a life insurance policy, they'll give you an estate plan for free. Normally it costs about two to $3,000. But if you get life insurance with Ethos, they're gonna give you a full estate plan, power of attorney, um, your medical stuff, will, trust, notarize in your state to where this eliminates your family from making decisions that they should not be making. And, and I don't wanna live in this too long, but you guys, tomorrow's not promise. Please don't be up in heaven and you say you loved your spouse, you loved your kids, but you didn't leave them anything. You left them with drama and hard decisions to make because you didn't want to spend a little bit of time to make sure that they're taken care of. So that's number one. That, that habit of just eliminating decisions for me has helped me out so much. It's helped me out so much. And what it does is it brings me back time to where now I can make better informed decisions on things that produces money. Produ like, don't be surprised if y'all come in here and y'all see me wearing the exact same shirts. I may just tell my team that, you know what? Uh, what shirts look good? Let's go buy five of them. Let's just keep them on there. <laughs> like, what is one thing I can take away from me that I don't have to make a decision on that allows me to focus on other things that are more important? Which leads me to number two, is you gotta align your work with your passion. What are you passionate about? He, I do believe that passion doesn't pay the bills. Purpose pays the bills. Purpose builds profit and wealth. Passion, though, it gives you energy. And so what I've learned is I, I've aligned what I do with what I love. I love talking. Like, I love talking. And I also enjoy talking about money. So I've been able to combine the things that I love doing and I'm passionate about with what I do for a living. I teach people how to get out of debt. I teach people how to live a life full of abundance, wellness, and freedom. And so I'm passionate about speaking. I love being on stage. So I talk every Monday, Wednesday, and Friday now. You gotta find ways to monetize activities or pursuits that you genuinely enjoy and are passionate about. When we can align our work with our interests, it becomes more fulfilling and more sustainable in the long run. Like, I'm building a life that I do not need a vacation from. I'm going to Mexico because I want to go to Mexico, not because I need a vacation from what I do. Whether this is starting a side hustle, freelancing in a field you love, or pursuing a career that resonates with what you love doing, integrating what you enjoy into your income-generating activities can lead to greater satisfaction and success. It, 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 it does. When I'm negotiating brand deals, I'll take them out in the golf course. Why I love, I love golfing. I don't really like negotiating money, though. No. Hey, let's go out and play golf. Let's make it fun when we gotta talk about this. When you gotta have a hard conversation, do it over dinner. You love eating, eat some good food while you're having the hard conversation. It makes it, it, it just really makes it easier. I want to make sure I'm being safe here, though, because I don't want to say go out there and do what you're passionate about, because I'm passionate about golf, but golf doesn't pay the bills. I, I can't be Tiger Woods. I'm passionate about basketball, but I can't be LeBron James. I will never make it to the NBA. But how can I incorporate what, what I enjoy doing? I, 
I'm passionate about communicating and inspiring people. Okay, Anthony, take what you're passionate about, communicating and inspiring people, and use that to really help your money message because talking about getting out of debt and talking about money is not sexy. So when we can combine the things that we love with the things that we got to do, it makes it easier. Which leads me to number three, and I hinted to this a little bit. We got to delegate task. When I started delegating task, and I'm actually getting on my team more about this, like, yo, this is no longer my responsibility. You're on this team. You're getting a commission check. I need you to take this off of my plate so I can go back and create more money generating opportunities within this company. But if I'm only doing your job, my job, your job, your job, my job, your job, I don't have time for vision. I don't have time to do the things that I need to be doing to generate more money. So I'm going to delegate task. I want you to identify tasks that you dislike doing or tasks that you find completely draining and consider outsourcing them to a virtual assistant if you're not a full-time entrepreneur like myself or delegating them to others if possible. By delegating administrative um, or, or repetitive tasks or tasks that you don't like, you free up valuable time and mental energy to focus on high priority activities that contribute directly to your financial goals. My goal is to get my company to making 10 to $15 million a year on a consistent basis in our sleep before I turn 50. So I have a team of about nine people total. I, I am at the point to where I'm like, if you can't do the task that I'm giving you, you can't be on the team. Because it's, I'm paying you to take this task off of me. So that way I can bring in more money that benefits all of us. There's not one person on my team that doesn't get commission. And commission simply means the more we go, the more you make. But if you're not contributing to that, then yeah, no, we can't do this. It goes back to you. Why are you responding to emails when you're not passionate about it? Why are you posting on social media when you're not passionate about it? Why are you responding to things? Like, why are you doing the things that you're not really excited about that drains you? Why are you spending so much time on things that drains you? No, no, no. I need you to spend time on things that gets you excited, that fuels your business, that makes you better on your job. Hiring a VA, a virtual assistant, can be a cost-effective solution to streamline your workflow and increase productivity. You see, you see, 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 this leads me to, to I think, what, what is it, number four? I think it's number four. Yeah, yeah. You see, when we can delegate, when we can eliminate some decisions and we start making, we're making better decisions. Ooh! Ah, uh, ah. Uh, it means we're going to make more money. If we do the first three things I just taught you, now you're in a position to make more money. When you're making more money, what do you have to do? You need to save. This is a task that has made me more money. Like, this is a habit. This is a task. <laughs> That's made me, I, I automate my savings. So when I get paid on the first of the month with my team, we all get paid on the first of the month. Before I even see my checking account when I wake up, my investments are already out because I automate my investments and my savings for the year is already out. So for an example, uh, this year I want to save and purchase up some more property. Um, and also this year, I'm taking a huge 40th birthday trip. I decided to not do a birthday party because I'm like, eh, why am I going to spend $20,000, $30,000 to have a birthday party for my 40th when I can take that and have an experience, when I can take that and I can have, you know, uh, create memories for myself. So I'm taking myself on a solo 40th birthday trip and really thinking about what does the next 10 years look like for me? So I'm saving for that. I've already bought the trip, but I want money when I go there. And I ain't trying to have like no little bit of money. I don't want just a $500,000. No, I want some, I want some, I, I want some, yeah, I want some money to enjoy this trip the way I want to do it. 
I'm not saying where I want to go. I'm going to let y'all know after my birthday because <laughs> uh, I want y'all trying to pop up on your boy. You know what I mean? Uh, but I'm saving for this trip. I'm auto Before I wake up, investments are going, savings are going, tithe is going. I automate that. What does that do? It takes one decision making away from me. And I've already saved. And I've already put money inside my high yield savings account. Now that's making me more money. Anthony, now how does how does how does automating your save, how do, how does automate your savings account make you more money? Because it allows me now to think about other things that if I would have thought about that, that's time away from making more money over here. You guys, set up automatic transfers from your checking account to your savings or investment accounts. Period. Pay yourself first by allocating a percentage of your income towards savings before spending on other expenses. You see, there was a recent um, a survey that came out by Bankrate and it revealed that 21% of Americans have no savings at all, highlighting the importance of automatic savings. Setting up automatic transfers will help you overcome procrastination and impulse spending tendencies, ensuring that you can consistently save for your financial goals. I put on Instagram a couple of weeks ago. Name one thing that broke people always find money on. 2,000 comments in less than 24 hours. In less than 24 hours. And you guys, that bothered me. Not one person said broke people find time to save money. But broke people, I mean, I'm going I'm, I'm to keep it real with you. Broke people found money for weed. Broke people found money for Gucci belts, Louis Vuitton belts. Broke people found money for all these other things. But when I hear people say, I don't have the money to save, but I look, you got a fake Louis Vuitton purse that costs you $50, you could have saved money. When I look at you and your hair is real nice, you could have saved money. When I look at you, you got on the latest Jordans, you got the latest kicks, you got rims on your car. Like, you could have saved money, but you chose not to save. And the reason why automatically saving money saves you money, watch this, and it makes you more money, because if you automatically are saving, if you automatically are investing, and if life happens and your tire blows out, you lose your job, well, you've been saving. Now you don't have to go back into debt because now you can go into your savings account. Here's the fifth one. Here's the fifth one. And this habit has made me a lot of money. A lot. I've built a network of solid friendships. So the fifth habit is I network and I build solid relationships. You see, cultivating relationships with mentors, with peers and industry professionals who can offer guidance, support, and opportunities for career advancement or business growth. Networking will and can open doors to new job perspectives, collaborations, uh, potential clients and customers, and they can come and save you. If, I, if I'm gonna be real with you, uh, can I be real with you? Um, I found out about SoFi's thing. And we signed up for the referral program so that way I can tell people um, about SoFi. And because you all just responded so well, man, they suspended my account because um, uh, we just went over the numbers so quick. Well, I reached out to some people in SoFi and they, I didn't get a response. And I was on the phone with someone that I have a relationship with, a collaboration with, and I mentioned that to them, come to find out this person knew a very high-end person at SoFi within a matter of five minutes sending them an email. 
uh, that high end person responds to me and gets me connected with that person and we are back up and running. When you build the right relationships, when you are intentional about building relationships and networking with people and not burning bridges, when it comes to building wealth, the number one capital that you need are relationships. There's, 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 there's three capitals that you need to have to build wealth. Number one is relationship capital. Number two is knowledge capital. And then number three is currency capital, money capital, right? And I think a lot of people skip over the importance of relationships and networking. If I would not have had that relationship with that individual, I would not be able to get back into SoFi because we did so well and they didn't even know we did that well for them. And it was like, yo, hey, we got you, yes. Thank you such and such for connecting with Anthony. Anthony, man, yo, let's meet, let's talk, let's get you back up and running and let's make this a little bit more solid because you went in through this way, we should have had you come in through this way, man, thank you so much. Like, like, there are doors that have opened to me solely because of relationship, but watch this. Your integrity and character will keep you inside of the room. It will keep you inside of the door. But when I hear people say, I don't need nobody, I don't need no man, I don't need no woman, I don't need no friends, I don't need white people. What? I had someone tell me, black people are only 13% of the world. You don't need them. That's a lie. When I hear people say, we don't need people, you do need people. Even God said, it's, oh my gosh. Adam was by himself tending to the garden. As we all know, God lives on the inside of us. God is with us, so we're never really by ourselves. But isn't it funny that Adam, who has God with him, God living with him, isn't it funny that God still said it's best for man not to be alone when technically Adam wasn't alone, he had God. But God still said it's best for Adam to not be alone. So he gave him Eve. So what makes you think Adam needed another human being and you don't need anyone? Adam needed help to tend to the garden. Adam needed help to, to produce children. Adam needed help to, to, to evolve and to grow and to mature. So if Adam, who had God, there was no evil, there was no sin, there was no issues in, Adam who needed, who had God and still needed somebody human, we all need somebody human to help us. And every major thing that has happened, this, this beautiful set that I have, I didn't do this. I needed someone to help me do this. I could not have come up with something that looks this good. No. All these cameras moving. I need Jay. All this stuff happening and ideas around the YouTube and how the YouTube, I need Michelle. I, I need my team to deliver a better message. I can't do all this by myself. I needed Dave Ramsey. That's why I left with grace and, and with, with, with clear understanding between us. I, I, I don't believe in burning bridges and saying F you and forget you and I don't need you. No, 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 I need people. And if you're going to build wealth, networking and building solid relationships, whew, that's going to make you more money than you work in nine to five. That's going to put you in rooms that will give you that pay raise. That's going to put you in rooms that will help you get that business off of the ground. That's going to put you in rooms that will help you sell out of your products. That's going to put you in rooms that can save your marriage, that can save your family. That's going to put you in rooms that could possibly save your life. And I wanted to end with that because these are just habits that, that, that I've really spent a lot of time in making sure that, that I'm building on. And I pray, I pray, I pray that these, these are all easy habits that have made me more money and these will help you. 
You, you, you have to get to a point to where you're eliminating some of your decision making. You're spending enough time me saying, you know what? I, I, I'm nah. I'm not gonna worry about this. Not at all. You're spending time to make sure that your passions are even aligned with, you know, your work. How do you make what you do fun and enjoyable? You got to delegate task. Number three, stop trying to do everything yourself. I've come to this understanding, and I tell this to my team all the time now. Like, hey, just because I say I don't like something doesn't mean it needs to be down. Because here's the truth. No one on my team can see this the way that I see it. Because God didn't give them the vision. He gave them, he gave them a vision, right, for themselves and for their life. And hopefully their vision aligns with my vision. But they can't see my company the way that I see my company. But they can see it. And I have to be okay with, you know what? Jay may not edit the intro the way I will. I'm okay with 80% of it, though. Alex may not design a thumbnail and be the creative expert the way that I may see it, but I got to be okay with 80% of it. Why? Because my job as a leader is to continue growing the vision and bringing in different tasks and different opportunities for us to make money. So you got to delegate tasks. And then as you're doing all that, you're making more money, you got to automatically save and build the right relationships. So listen. These five tasks have made me more money. And these five tasks will make you more money. But don't make more money. And you're not stewarding it well. Don't, don't, don't. Don't ask God to open up doors for you and you can't even build the right relationships for God to open the door for. My prayer is not really God more money, it's more relationships. Give me more relationships that can really, really, really help me get into the right rooms, into the right doors. And that's exactly what God has been doing. To this day, if I'm gonna be honest with you all, I don't know how my company has made the money that we've made because I'm not I'm not a financial advisor. I, I'm not the smartest person in the world. And y'all hear my grammar. I'm not the I'm not the best communicator. I'm good. I love what I do. But I think because I've been able to really build the right relationships and I've learned how to delegate. I've learned how to, you know, automate. I, I've learned how to grow my mind. God, trust me with this. And I pray we're, we're around another five years. But, and I'll end with this. I go to things I'm not even speaking at. One, because I want to support my brother and my sister. Two, because I want to learn and I want to grow. And I want to build, I want to keep that relationship. I want to build it. I call my brothers on and my sister's on anniversaries and birthdays and uh, just days just to say, hey, man, praying for you. Love you, bro. Because those relationships are important. So write down these five habits and identify which one you need help on. Why are you doing that? Make sure that you check out my friends over at Ethos. That if you don't have a life insurance policy, that you get a life insurance policy. And if you have a whole life insurance policy, that whole life insurance policy is not a lot. You can get up to $2 million with no blood work, no hospital visits today. Very, very affordable. Check them out. And also, don't forget to go to anthonyoneal.com to enter in to win one of the $20,000 that we're going to be giving away this month for the April is Lit uh, financial giveaway campaign. We're not selling you nothing. We just want to be a blessing. All we need is your name and your email address so we can send you some financial literacy information this month and enter you into that drawing. It's your boy, Anthony O'Neill. I'll see you on the next show. Peace out.